everybody and welcome to the first episode of Gear Talk on Musik Garage, a YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna present you a new product of a company that I work with very closely and which is very supportive to me. It's AMT Electronics. Um, they're from Siberia and they make great new products uh, depending on guitar amps, effects, stuff like that. They're very innovative, they come out with great new ideas over and over again and everything they produce sounds really good. So today I'm gonna introduce you a new product of AMT. It's the Power Eater PE120. This unit is in fact three units in one. It's a load box. For you guys out there who don't know what a load box is, if you run your tube amplifier without a load cabinet connected to it, you're gonna kill it. The power amp needs a load, a resistance to work properly. You can do this with the power eater. You connect this to your amplifier and run it all cranked up without any noise coming out of it. You can record your guitar at three o'clock in the morning easily. Nobody but you will hear anything. Uh, the second unit is a power attenuator. The power attenuator is um, if you have a tube amplifier especially this tube amplifier will sound really good if it's cranked all up because you get the tubes the power amp tubes in a saturation which makes it work great and sound great the negative effect is it's getting really really loud this makes problems with your neighbors or with the police or who else is living around you and makes your ear bleed so uh, with this unit you can crank your amplifier full up. It takes power amps up to 120 watts. You crank it full up and turn it down to a level you, you choose and you can easily work with, but you still have your interaction with a cabinet and your guitar, which is, in my opinion, really important for sustained stuff like that. The third unit is a cap simulation. A cap simulation is, um, uh, if you connect your amplifier direct into your interface or your mixing console or whatever, it will sound really crappy because um, the speaker is missing, the power amp is missing, the room is missing, all these factors that make everything sound and work great are missing. And this is what a cap simulation is doing for you. Like you connect it straight into here and plug it in your mixing console, plug it in your interface and just record it live or in studio straight away. So now let's check out details on the power eater. Backside first. We have input jacks for 16 ohms or 8 ohms depending on what your output of your amplifier is set. And you can choose 100% out and turn it up down with the level control on front. Or you can choose 4% out or 1% out. This is a prototype. The Series 1 will have a switch where you can switch between 1% output or 4% output. And now the front side. On the front side you have switches uh, and connections uh, where you can choose the signal to come out and go to your mixing console or your interface or whatever you want to connect it. Um, you have a Q level. Q level controls uh, the tightness or openness of the signal. The resonance level is uh, you can switch between uh, you use an open cabinet or a closed cabinet and presence is adding some highs or reducing the highs the way you like it. You can switch on and off whatever you want and like. The level control is controlling the level if you got the input check 100% connected you can turn the level down here you have a cap simulation out with uh, minus 10 dB or just a level a line level out minus 10 dB. Also you have XLR connection with um, cap simulation with minus 30 dB or just a level out, normal line out plus 4 dB. And you can ground switch, you can, if you have any hum problems or something, you can cut off the ground connection to prevent that. Also we have LEDs on the front side uh, which indicate the level coming in to the power eater from your amplifier 
um, and indicates if you have already clipping or if you're like all good. That's the front side and now let's go and check how it sounds. So now we got everything hooked up and working. Um, uh, I'm using my PV Triple X amplifier. It's a 120 watt full tube amplifier and um, as you will see uh, I've got some markers at the master level which uh, indicates the uh, stage loudness I usually use and I went up far over that now cranked the amp full up and it's working great and punchy and the sound is good but we can still sit in a room without our ears bleeding and talk normally while I got my MT power eater connected to 1% output now and now we're gonna check some sound samples so let's play some guitar um, for your information the signal flow is um, my PV amplifier into the power eater and I connected the 1% output for my cabinet and go from the power eater cap simulation into my Focusrite Sapphire into my QA 7.5 uh, EQ is done almost nothing I just made a low cut on it and under 100 Hz and added um, a little reverb and added a little delay for like feeling comf comfortable for playing anything else uh, you hear is like really unmixed what you hear is what you get with the power eater one thing that's really important to me with my recording gear if it's like in the studio or live is like how is it delivering the sound of what I produce with my guitar when I switch pickups and what kind of guitar is connected to the amplifier all this dynamic stuff is really important to me and it works really great with the power eater so here's the guitar on humbucker mode <laughs> Single coily. And one thing that's really important to me is like the response I get from my guitar, my amplifier, and how is it recorded when I turn down the volume and get my gain off because I work a lot with that. So this is. And now for all you metalheads out there, the big question, is it going low? Yes, it's going low. I got my 7th string and it's tuned to dropped A and let's see how it's going really, really bad and nasty. <laughs> One very important thing to me is how does it sound in the mix because um, you can play your guitar alone and it sounds really great and if you play it with the band or if you play it in the mix of a song it can suddenly doesn't work anymore so let's check out how this thing works if you record it in a mix
folks, um, that was my review of the brand new AMT Power Eater PE120. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the Power Eater will be released in a couple of weeks. For more information, check out the AMT homepage. It's www.amt-electronics.com. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel. There are already some videos and there will a lot coming soon. So, see you soon.